So Talkie Box is going on a nature hike. I got uh, Jackie and Kate with me. Hi, and we're going into Dawson Forest. Um, so we're going into Dawson Forest. The road is closed. We're just going to walk around that. Um, yeah. For rebels. Fuck yeah. the rules. <laughs> so I didn't tell you girls this. So um, Dawson Forest is the site of the first and I guess only uh, nuclear airplane program. And it's what they did here in America before we had nuclear submarines is they had, uh, they were testing nuclear airplanes. Mm -hmm. well, the problem was they had a reactor meltdown. And also they realized that nuclear airplanes is a really stupid idea because, you know, it's really heavy. And if a nuclear airplane goes down, that shit gets, uh, gets real wrecked real fast. I so. gave her a flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Flower Kate's, exchange. Kate's killing the, the local wildlife. Um, For love. Or plant life. So back here, you can't see it yet, but we'll go back there in a sec. We have this uh, fence with barbed wire. And inside there is a large building that has been completely covered in concrete. And... Uh, that's where the nuclear reactor was. Am I gonna uh, get some kind of? Uh, yeah, probably. Poisoning or whatever. Radiation sickness. Yeah. Uh, uh, almost definitely. And just behind this fence, I think Are you can see superpowers? is another fence, which is like the original fence uh, with uh, the barbed wire on it too, and then this newer fence here. Uh, you may get superpowers. Yeah. It might not be powers that you want though. Maybe I'm gonna get. Powers that just allow me to shower really fast now, <laughs> or I just have another towel. Yeah. Right. Or I suddenly become sort of good at math. That'd be oh, funny. Alright, so we're coming up on the uh, this corner of this fence here, and we're actually going to come off the trail and make a left right here. Left, left right. <laughs> we'll make a left. Go down this uh, less traveled trail, and we're going kind of. To the side of the building you can still you might be able to make out right back there but there's no doors or windows or anything on this building it's completely covered in in concrete how creepy would it be if we just saw a door on the building <laughs> it'd be like um, and it opens oh dave yeah. no and a shadowy another figure keep out inside. sign now dave you were saying um on the way here, old no trespassing sign to be haunted? It might be. There's probably radioactive ghosts around. Um, I don't, I haven't really looked into a lot of this, um, but there, you know, I have been here before and seen like some kids spray painted some satanic shit in different places. But as you can see, here's the building right here. Again, completely covered Ooh, yep. in concrete. And then right here, people have obviously gone in there. Um, uh, because this is a kind of a local legend kind of place to go and check out. No, we're not. No, we're uh, not stupid. Yeah. You can actually be prosecuted for trespassing in there, so. Oh, well, yeah, let's do that. There's yeah. a no trespassing sign. We passed by three. Oh. Yeah, multiple keep out and no trespassing signs. Yeah, look. And there's, yeah, the door that's been sealed right there, so you can't get in there. Or um, can you? I don't know. And there's, ah! there's a bee making a lot of noise. <laughs> and here's a big hole in the fence where somebody's obviously cut through and gone in there. We're probably not going to go too much farther this way because uh, this is pretty much as far as most people go on the thing. But you can kind of see there the really creepy looking concrete building. <laughs> yeah. Kate is considering going in. There's the hole. There's a giant hole that you can crawl through if you want to go be a rebel. If I were gonna go in there, I don't think I'd do so. On video? On video. That's smart. Yeah. Smart move. Down right. there, you can kind of see a little pond. Um, and we'll get a closer look at that in a second. Uh, but that's actually, you can find videos online of people who have uh, gotten rafts and gone into that pond, and they, you can actually get into the building where the uh, nuclear reactor was that they flooded um because it went critical and everything so we'll check that out in just a second so down here on the left 
We had this little walkway down to a viewing area at the uh, little lake. Careful. And we're missing a step here because ghosts probably. There we go. Or maybe they just don't want us coming over. And it looks like despite all the rain we've had recently, it looks like this lake is kind of uh, dried up a little bit from where it has been in the past. Um, down here. Bugs! Yeah, there are bugs in nature. Um, so yeah. It's a lot of people have like graffiti this this thing that has a penis. Uh, some profanity. But uh, yeah, it looks like they may have actually drained it to keep people from uh, from trying to take a raft or something over to it where the uh, the building with the reactor was because um, it looks like the, the lake is going way down. You can clearly see how it used to be higher than it is now, um, pretty much all the way around. Look. Here we have a pile of horse poop. Or ghost feces. And Kate said that she's going to take a, take a pile of that with her. No, I did so, not. <laughs> I said yeah. It's a snack for later. People like to ride their horses down this trail. Um, as, as we all know, horses scare away ghosts um, and that's probably why they do that but we're going further down the creepy ass trail to see where it leads so we found this little trail comes off the main path and kind of looks like it kind of goes towards the lake I don't know we can go down there and look at it ah! what grasshopper <laughs> Okay. All right. Ah, more things hopping. Yeah, there's uh, things that live in these woods. Dead things, and also alive things. All right. So, like I said before, the uh, the water used to come up a lot higher, so this is probably a lot closer to the water line where it used to be. That's one of the pass ends there. There you go. So, oh, look, stork. Uh, Beautiful stork. Are you waving to the stork? Mm. Kate's gonna go eat it for dinner. Oh, 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 she's right. She's trees. Oh, she went the right path though. <laughs> Can't go that way. Kate has found her way through. Jackie's gonna try to follow. We'll see if we can make it. Mm. Oh, Very yeah, muddy. I didn't think that would be yeah. solid ground. Well, I don't want to get in mud. Yeah. Right. Ooh, did you see that? Catch a fish, Kate. There's a fish. With what? With your hands. Yeah. Like a warrior. <laughs> like they did in olden times. Olden times? Olden times. I love like All right. No ghosts yet, but we'll keep on looking. We've just been passed by the ghost runner and his dogs who, uh, he actually died back in 2003, and he's just been running these trails ever since. And there he goes, never to be seen again. For another 25 years. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. So now we have an option right here. We can take the path to the left or the path to the right. The path to the right is the least traveled, so it's probably the most haunted. Because there's horses. Yeah, we can see the horses have gone this way. The tracks of the horses. Yeah. The haunted horses. Well, let's uh, check out this direction. Well, let's see. Horses where... going this way too. All right, we'll probably end up going both directions. Buggies. Yeah. Oh, I just walked right into a fucking spider web. <laughs> That's why Kate's in front. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, it gets a lot thicker up here, but there's definitely still a path. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're coming up on the end of this particular trail. And uh, so what this used to be was there, were, there used to be a rail line through here. And that's how they got uh, all their equipment over to where they were the testing sites for the nuclear airplanes and stuff. Um, 
up here is where there used to be a bridge across uh, this river or stream, whatever it is. Uh, they've since taken that down. Let's get up here a second and look at it. Juan! There's a lot, a lot of graffiti on the on this wall they built up. But Coming as you can see, <laughs> Kate's running up the thing. But there used to be a bridge here and they've torn it down. So you can't really get across the river. The, the raging river. Over here it's which is very muddy. Eat pussy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to us, so you know. All right. Yep. It'd be cool if there was a bridge. Thank you for your yeah. progressive lifestyle. Where are they trying to hide? What did the bridge lead us to before? What Kate, is this you want to take the camera and get a good shot of what's going on? Yeah. Drop it. There we go. There's like this little divot thing here. Pretty river. Looks like that's the uh, other side of the bridge. Where it, uh, I can... Uh, can't really seem Never. to get a good view of it, but... Ever. And then it says behind and is... This must be the brackets. Is a message. Uh, behind every dead end is a message. That's what it says. Oh, look. Yeah. And then there's an eye. Is there an eye on that side, Kate? Obvious satanic writings. Uh, no. Like forget and... Uh, Are you sure? Whatever this says eye. here. I think Any it says... Metal? Oh, it's lust. That's cool. Um, yeah, like a drawing of an eye. I right suck. Right because it says behind every dead yeah. end is a message. So this is the dead end. Behind it should be a message. Uh, I see fat nut and eat pussy. <laughs> That's your message. All right. So our, our satanic message of the day, children, is eat a pussy. Oh, wow. There's another short path right here, which... I believe it just leads to this drop, essentially, uh, down. Uh, there's a frog, a little toad right there. Hi, frog. Uh, but yeah, this little path leads down to the water, uh, which you can take if you want. And I guess we it's are a bit because... steep and muddy at the moment, given the, the rains that we've had. Put your hand right on a daddy long legs. That's some uh -oh. nasty ass shit. Right there next to your face. I like how Jackie just stopped with her butt right in front of the camera. Like a gratuitous butt shot that we just had. Whoops. <laughs> so Kate ran ahead. And then we lost sight of her. Hopefully this is the real Kate that we're coming up on now. But it could be <laughs> a doppelganger. Uh, laughing. That's, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. It, she's probably going to murder us. Um, so... If you find this video, you know what happened. It was Kate's doppelganger. <laughs> Who apparently can only count to three. <laughs> <laughs> three is the right, so number of the day, kids. We're back to the fork. We're going to take it to the right. This is the same direction that the, uh, the ghost dog walker runner guy went. Um, maybe we'll happen across him again. Years. Right, right. Okay, we've found a, trash can. Uh, a haunted trash can full of. Uh, we know it's haunted because it has like a McDonald's cup in it, and no one goes there. Well, um, maybe it's not a trash can. Maybe it's actually a chimney top, and uh -huh. we're standing on a building. And people just dump their garbage into it. Yep. All right. so Kate has found yet another offshoot path. There's a there's a fallen tree which means danger uh, and then a dead end emphasis but, but remember, emphasis on the dead the, every dead end has a hidden message behind it that's right and the message is you went the wrong way stupid let's go <laughs> or once again that is pussy. it could be that too <laughs> aside from doppelkate and uh and uh the ghost runner we haven't really seen any other supernatural stuff, which is a bit disappointing, to be honest. Uh, well, was that toad that we saw earlier really a toad? Or was oh, it a ghost toad. It was probably a ghost toad. You're right. Um, he might not have even shown up on on the camera. Or he might 
have been um, the spirit of the forest. Yeah. Or the ghost could be right behind us. Huh? They're not anymore. Yeah, you announced yourself, didn't you? I know. I messed up. All right. All right, we are now quickly leaving the forest because we got attacked by a swarm of ghost bees. So that sucked. Did we get that on top? No. But all three of us got stung. I got one kind of on the back of my calf. I don't know about the girls. Uh, that sucked. I did kill one on my pants. Like, there's a smear on my pants now in an awkward position. Uh, oh, my shit hurts so bad. Yeah. I don't know. They're probably yellow jackets or something. Or hornets. I don't know. But that kind of brings it to the end of our uh, nature walk. <laughs> so hopefully none of us are allergic to anything. That would really blow. We'll find out shortly if we have to get rushed to a medical center. Oh, that's bad. I've been stung by wasps and stuff before, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay, but... All right. I don't think I'm allergic. So we learned that uh, ghost bees are a thing, and that shit sucks. All right, we're out. Bye. We are back to the parking area where <laughs> we're meeting back up with Jackie, who ran away from us very quickly when the bees or hornets or whatever attacked. Likely what happened is the uh, that jogger and his dogs, like one of the dogs probably um, stirred up a hornet nest. But, you know, they were running past, so it didn't really affect them. But once we got to it, hornets. But I think it got all of us in the calves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Damn hornets, like, hamstrung each of us. Uh, see the redness and stuff. But, uh... Definitely got some exercise. Saw some haunted hornets. And that shit sucked. <sighs> so that might be the very last Talkie Box uh, hiking trip that we go on. Well, Talkie Box uh, hiking trip number one. Possibly the last one we ever do. We'll see. Um, final thoughts. Hornets suck. Yeah. And I hate them. And I don't see why we need them. Bumblebees, probably okay. They help the planet and stuff. Hornets are dicks.